Hi, I'm Elise from taxibaby.sg and today I'm going to show you how to set up a brand new Cosco Scenario Next to fit your child. So this is what the Cosco looks like straight out of the box. It's a fantastic, lightweight, taxi-friendly uh, toddler solution and it can be used from birth up until 18 kilos rear facing. So to start with, you'll have a lot of dangly bits coming off your Cosco. The first and easiest thing to do is to remove the top tether strap. So the top tether strap is only used when the seat is installed forward facing, which we don't recommend, and is only used when there is a top tether anchor in the vehicle, which in a Singaporean taxi is not that many. So I recommend that you take it off. It's easily unthreaded. You can pop it in the cupboard and uh, use it if you ever need to. So the reason that I recommend you don't use the seat forward facing is it's designed as a rear facing seat and it will last much longer as a rear facing seat compared to a forward facing seat. It's five times safer for children to travel rear facing um, and it's easier to install this seat rear facing, not only because of the tether, but also because the seat belt path for the rear facing configuration is easier to access. So that's the first step. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the crotch strap. So the crotch strap comes installed in the smallest position. So to undo it, turn the seat over and you'll see a small buckle at the bottom. Pull the strap out as far as you can so that you can turn the buckle on its side. So you want to turn it perpendicular to the direction it was before. Pop it through the hole. And also slide it through the webbing at the front. Now we're going to put it into the centre hole. I'm setting this seat up for a toddler. If your child fits the car seat in this uh, smallest crotch strap position, by all means keep it in that position. I'm going to move it into the centre position now. That's the furthest or the largest position that can be used while the seat is rear facing. This third and largest slot here is only to be used when the seat is forward facing. And that's because the rear facing belt path passes directly underneath this slot here. So if you're using this rear facing um, and you have the crotch strap in this position, it's going to interfere with your installation. You can check the manual for more information. So to re-thread the crotch strap, I'm going to pass it into the centre hole and then make sure I'm popping it out of the centre slot in the plastic moulded shell. So again, you pop it through perpendicular and then turn it back to its normal position. And just double check that it's secure. Next, I'm going to adjust the shoulder straps. So you can see we have one, two, three, four, five different positions for the shoulder straps. Now, when you're using the seat rear facing, the slots for the shoulder harness should always be below or at your child's shoulders. So that means you're seated, your child's shoulders should be over the slot that you've selected the harness to come through. If you're using the seat forward facing, then the harness slots need to be at or above your child's shoulders. And that is why the seat lasts longer rear facing than it does forward facing. Because once your child's shoulders have grown over the top of this top uh, shoulder harness slot height, they're no longer able to use the seat forward facing. But because the shoulder slots need to be below or at your child's shoulders, you can still use it rear facing. So to adjust the shoulder straps, give yourself some slack in the harness. And to do that, I'm going to lift up this little flap here, push on the silver button and pull the harness webbing out. Flip the seat over and you'll see there's a splitter plate at the back. I'm going to unthread the two harness straps from the splitter plate. And similarly to the crotch strap, I'm going to pass them into the front of the seat, select the slot that fits my child, 
and then pass the straps back in. Okay, now back on this side, I'll grab my splitter plate again. Now make sure that it goes underneath this part of webbing here. Also make sure that it's not twisted. So the tag should be up the top. Similarly on the harness strap, the tag should be up the top. So I'm going to pass it back into the splitter plate. Now you'll notice that the webbing itself is wider than the slot on the splitter plate. And that means the belt bunches once it's in the splitter plate. And that's completely normal, that's how it's designed. So long as the belt is completely in the splitter plate and not half out like this, then that's fine. Okay. Now to adjust the harness, as I showed you before, to loosen it, you press the silver button under the little uh, trap door in the fabric to pull it out. And to tighten it, you simply pull this strap here. Now, the last step is the latch or isofix connection belt. So there are two things that you can do with the isofix belt. In Singapore, most people won't use the isofix belt on a regular basis. And for that reason, I recommend that you remove it from the seat. It is possible to store it on the seat, which I'm going to show you how to do. Um, and it doesn't interfere with how the seat installs when you're using the seat belt, but it does add extra confusion into the car seat. And if you have someone who's going to be installing the seat, perhaps they don't do it frequently, um, or if you're concerned with um, perhaps your ability to remember exactly which slots to use, um, then it can just add another element of confusion and a tiny bit of weight. So this is the isofix belt. And this little strap here is a forget-me-not. The only function that this part of the belt provides um, is it keeps the isofix belt attached to the seat so that you don't lose it. So it's completely fine to snip off the isofix belt at the forget-me-not strap. And you can pop this in the cupboard and, um, and hang on to it. Snipping the forget-me-not strap doesn't interfere with how the belt works, with how the isofix belt works. So you can pop it in the cupboard, you can bring it out next time you're um, heading to New Zealand or America or somewhere that you want to install the seat in a hire car and you would prefer to use latch in that instance. Um, you can bring it out of the cupboard then and, and use it with absolutely no problems. I'm going to show you how to store it on the car seat if you want to keep it there. So lengthen the isofix belt as far as it goes, you notice one end is longer than the other. What I'm going to do, the short end on the side of the forget-me-not, I'm going to hook it onto the latch storage uh, hook just under the seat here. So I'm going to clip it on. And then I'm going to pass the belt through the forward-facing belt path. And that's because I'm going to use this seat rear-facing. So I want to keep the rear-facing belt path clear so that the seat belt can go through here. And so that means that I'm going to store the isofix belt in the forward facing belt path. So you grab the other end of the belt that you just pass through the seat and you'll notice an identical hook on the other side of the seat. Clip it on, pull it taut, not so tight that it, um, that it pulls forward so much that it actually pushes into your child's back, um, but just nice and tight that it doesn't flop around. And then you can fold this little excess back through if you want to. So that's how you store the latch or the isofix belt onto the car seat. And you can see that the rear facing belt path is clear. The red seat belt locking clip is an accessory that comes for free with the Cosco Cenerinex when you purchase it from taxibaby.sg. If you haven't purchased it, purchased your seat from Taxi Baby, you can purchase the clip separately. Now, this is an American car seat and it's designed to be used with American seat belts. And American seat belts are different from European seat belts. 
Um, most cars in Singapore and all taxis have European seat belts. And you can tell the difference because a European seat belt will lock when you jerk it or when the driver slams on the brakes. It has a single mode, so it moves freely when, um, when you're, it's in normal use and it locks during an accident. An American seatbelt has two modes. It has the same emergency locking retractor mode that a European seatbelt does, but it also has an automatic locking retractor mode, um, which is specifically for the installation of child restraints. The way that you can check is if you pull the seatbelt all the way to the end of the belt, when you release the seatbelt, you'll hear a ratchet noise and the belt will only get tighter and there's no way for you to loosen it. To reset that mode, you need to feed the belt all the way back into the retractor and you're good to go. Um, some Uber and Grab taxis, sorry, some Uber and Grab cars in Singapore have American seatbelts and you may have accidentally enacted that mode when you're trying to install your child's car seat. So this is an American seat and it requires the use of the automatic locking retractor mode. Now because a lot of cars in Singapore don't have that mode, if the car that you're using doesn't have that mode and you're not able to engage it, you must use a locking clip. This is the easiest locking clip to use in a taxi. We have another video that shows you how to install it all. Um, but it's mandatory to either permanently lock the seat belt or use the locking clip. Otherwise, the seat will not perform its duties to protect your child in an accident. It's not designed to work with an unlocked seat belt. So you must always keep the clip with you. If you lose it, you can give us a call and we'll send you out a new one. Um, so keep it with you all the time and I find it easiest to remember if I've popped it on there. If you bought the shoulder strap that comes with the Cosco, I'll show you a really uh, good place to connect it to. So on the back of the seat, um, there's a hook here that was for your top tether. So you can pop one end on there and then depending whether you want to carry the seat most on your left or your right shoulder, use one of the latch connection points, one of the latch storage hooks as well. There is a different way to configure this seat if you have a very small baby. And we'll do a separate video that shows how to reroute the harness and to reroute the crotch strap um, if you have an incredibly tiny baby. If you have any questions, please contact us at taxibaby.sg. Bye.